talk us through the creation of Prime. So you are working for other people uh, for a few years. At what age did you discover that you were going to uh, take it upon yourself to create your own brand? Yeah, so it would have been last year. So it would have been 21. And I think that for me, I was just like, I was like, bro, I'm getting up at 3 a.m. I'm working. And then another guy's rocking up at 8 a.m. and he's taking 50% of my cut and I've been working for the last five hours. And I was like, this doesn't make much sense. Like, why why am I working for someone else when I could just be working for myself? I, I think that I'm good enough to be able to be working for myself. I think I'm a good enough trainer. Um, so that's probably where that came into. I think I was a good enough personality as well. So I guess that comes from a bit of a confidence thing as well. You have to be um, confident in yourself to take that step forward, especially with content mm-hmm. creation. I think we all talk about it that that first step is such a massive thing. So um, once I did start to take that step, everything kind of started to fall into place. You obviously get a little bit of stick from the boys at the start, but um, as you move along, it's, it's all right. And, and take us through your topic. What does it mean to you to train like an athlete? Yeah, so I guess that was the start of everything for me on social media was probably posting a few uh, various exercises and people were, were saying, um, you know, this is this is useless. This is terrible. You know, this has no spot in a um, you know in a training program and that sort of stuff. So for me, um, getting getting that balance between having kind of some cool sports specific exercises that that catch people's attention, and then also going back to your traditional exercises a little bit as well was kind of the way that I started uh, started off trying to catch people's attention on social media. So. Um, training like an athlete for me is all has been something that I've always done, but I've only recently started sharing it. So it's pretty much all about um, changing the way that you train to to decrease injuries and and increase performance as well. What would be your recommendation for a new brand, someone that maybe a personal transfer, the addition coach that's going through that thought process, pretty sick of um, working long hours, taking fifty percent of cuts, and they and they want to uh, launch themselves into their own business? Where would you start if you were starting Prime this year? If I was starting Prime right now, um, I think same as what uh, Doss said before, I would start on TikTok because that's probably one of the easiest platforms to to get going with. And that's how I started on TikTok um, originally. I think that most of us did. But yeah, I think that that's the way to, to start your business, start your brand. And then, it, like I said, it's just that first step, which which means everything. Like you just have to get, get up the courage to do it. So that was for me... Um, just getting out the courage to do it and starting on TikTok and just keep posting. Like everything's about consistency. I think Chaos was saying before how important um, just posting, posting, posting is. Like you just need to get out, uh, I reckon, two or three TikToks a day. If you're doing YouTube twice a week, uh, if you're doing Instagram once a day at least. So just that consistency of posting because even at the start when I was posting, probably wasn't posting enough. So you just got to keep posting, stay front of mind. When you're creating your content, how much do you focus on uh like entertainment and then how much would you focus on more education, sort of promoting your programs and um, promoting your services? Yeah, what would be the balance? Good, of the- yeah, that's a really good question. I th- it definitely fluctuates bet- between what's doing well. So if something's doing well, I'll keep doing that. Um, but I think I always talk about the algorithm on TikTok changes all the time. So it used to be six to 10 um, seconds would really like go, that was like the time. Um, to go for for like watch time duration and that sort of stuff when you're posting on TikTok. But recently it's actually gone longer. It's gone to that 30 second more to a minute. And they're the videos that people are starting to stay really engaged with. So that's what I've started to do kind of, I guess, fluctuate my content based on, and I'm very self-aware with my content. I'm always looking at my insights. I'm always looking at what's doing well, what's not doing well. Um, and just, yeah, self-evaluating it and then going back and I guess it's just you get so much feedback from analytics. You just have to make sure that you're really on top of and, and that you're you're watching. Um, you, you had fast growth as well. Did you reach out to build a support network or are you still doing everything um, your own? You're taking on all the work in terms of marketing, uh, looking after your, your athletes um, and then also the, the business development. Yeah, so I think at the moment now we've got like – We've got well over 500 athletes, so it's like it's pretty difficult to, I guess, do them like do everything at the same time. Especially if one, you know, one athlete might have a sore hammy that week, you might need to alter their program. So I'm lucky enough that I do have some other people that that help me out with the programs. Um, in terms of a marketing sort of stuff, I pretty much do that all myself. Uh, recently, got a manager probably two weeks ago, which is going to be great for me, especially dealing with brands because I get really it's it's super time consuming dealing with brands and sponsorships and 
I don't know what to charge people. Um, I've got no idea. I'm very new to the industry and I, I think all of us are. So we don't really know what to charge people. So having a manager for me has been fantastic.